Hey guys, welcome back. This is Related Rates and this is my second video. So please watch the first one before you see this video and we are going to do a sphere problem. A spherical balloon is being filled with air at a constant rate of two cubic centimeters per second. How fast is the radius increasing when the radius is three centimeters? This is a very common question and it's very simple to answer. But before I answer this, let me show you just sort of like a picture of what's happening. You're filling up a, uh, a balloon. And this guy right here, what's going on is that maybe this is radius at time, call it one. This is radius at time two, right? It's getting bigger because you're filling it up with air. And then this will be at time three and so on. So your radius is increasing and your volume is increasing with respect to time, right? The longer you put air in the larger the volume and the larger the radius is okay so let's take this and let's work with it step one is to come up with the formula for your problem since this says sphere a spherical balloon so sphere four thirds pi r cubed this is great because it only has one variable um on the right side which is the radius okay on the left side, we have one val variable, which is the volume. So let's take the derivative of this with respect to time. And if you watch the other video, uh, you would see how to do this. So V is dV dt. 4 thirds pi is a constant. You just leave it. And the derivative of r to the third is 3r squared by the power rule. Because this is a letter other than T, you're going to go dr dt. Every time you take the derivative, it's always d, the letter dt. The derivative of v is just 1, but I just didn't show it, okay? All right, let's clean this up. The 3 cancels out with the 3. So the derivative dv dt is equal to 4 pi r squared dr dt. Now... If you take a look at what we have here, it says the air is being filled with um, air at a, the balloon is being filled with air at a constant rate of two cubic centimeters per second. I discussed the importance of per. So two cubic centimeters per second. So this value here has to go with something that has a line. In other words, it has to go to either him or him because it has lines there, okay? And remember what T is. T is time. And you see on the bottom how it says seconds? So I cannot give this to the R, okay? So this value here is actually going to be dV dt. You could tell that because volume is always three-dimensional, right? So if you take a look at the top part, it's centimeter times centimeter times centimeter which is cubic centimeter or centimeters to the third power so that's dv dt now how fast is the radius increasing when the radius is three centimeters so they're telling you what this radius is so r is three centimeters how fast is the radius increasing well that means we are looking for dr dt. Why? Because how fast is the radius, so that's the r, increasing? So, oh, it is increasing 5 uh, centimeters per second, 7 centimeters per second, and so on. That's what this is, okay? But it's going to be obviously much, much smaller. So what do we do? We have everything, right? All we got to do is plug it in. Plug it in right into here. So dv dt is 2 and it's cubic centimeters per second. If the units are not there, your answer is wrong. R is three, so we're gonna put three squared, and then dr dt is what we are looking for. So I'm sorry about the squeezing, okay? Um, and then your R is centimeters, so it should be centimeters squared. So you have two equals four pi times nine dr dt. 2 equals 36 pi dr dt. And once 
you divide, it's going to be 2 over 36 pi equals dr dt. And so that's 1 over 18 pi equals dr dt. And we need a unit for this. So since this is centimeters and we're going to square it, it's centimeters squared. If this is centimeters to the third power, so when you divide, you'll be left with centimeters um, and then per second, okay? Centimeters per second. So your answer is one centimeter per 18 pi seconds or one eighteenth pi centimeters per one second. And that's pretty much how you do it. You're going to start with a formula. You're going to take the derivative of the formula with respect to time. Anything that's per needs to be one of these guys here or here. We know that volume is cubic, area is squared, and then uh, regular like radius height and so on would be just to the first power. So this is your answer. Please leave a comment if you need help. I'll be doing another one very shortly in the next video.